This is a material sample for peak generalization, receptively ID non-identical animals 11T. For this program, all the materials that you need are pictures of animals from different species. You're going to present a couple of pictures, so you'd probably stick with, you know, just your trained stimuli in the field or just your test stimuli in the field and ask them to find the animal. Um, so quick example of this one. So we have a yellow lab dog for the first train class. And then we have an orange fish, a bird, and a black and white cat. And then for test stimuli, we have a black and white dog, a different fish, a brown cat, and a white bird. And so again, you're just going to very simply, if you have, you know, let's say number three, and you're targeting green bird, you would just put out all of your train class stimuli, for example, and say, find bird. And then they would find the bird, mix them up. If you're moving to a test stimuli trial, then you would just put out your test stimuli to keep these separate and not intermixed in your field itself. But with peak generalization, you do have um, train and test stimuli intermixed within a block. So it's just really important to check your scoring, make sure you're not prompting, crazing, or giving any feedback on any of the test stimuli, but that you are for train. Um, and scoring accordingly. So this is a quick material sample for peak generalization, receptively ID non-identical animals, 11T.